Hi guys, I think this is on. It is on. Well, back in the woods again. Uh, basement was flooded and I put a bunch of Clorox down there to kill stuff, so I'm not going to be going down there anytime soon. And actually getting to the end of the beer reviews for a while. It took some time, cleared stuff out of the basement. Um, destroyed my truck today, hit a deer on the way to work. I got a rental car now. Uh, I guess anxiously waiting to see if my truck is totaled, which would be a real bummer if it is, considering that's kind of my br bread and butter vehicle. And I haul wood and heat the house with wood. Rush hour. There it goes, rush hour. But yep, in the woods, gonna do a beer review of Shebang from Smutty Nose Brewing Company. This is their uh, small batch series, um, Smut Lab series. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. 10.5 alcohol by volume, a triple India Pale Ale. The only one that I've had, I've had two. I think, uh, absolutely. I think from Fegley's is classified a triple, and, uh, and a Devil Dancer, which was very malty indeed, almost a American barley wine. So, curious to see what's going to be going on with this one. Just got out of work, just got home from picking up the rental vehicle. Got a Nissan Ultima. It's kind of cool. Alright. Orange hues going on in this one. Actually, sticky glass. Sticky glass action. But yeah, orange hues. Soft caramel hues. Mild carbonation. Definitely have some alcohol legs sticking through the glass. Very nice. Let's get some aromas. Mmm, definitely got a caramel, sounds like my wife's home. Yeah, I got a little bit of a sweet confectionery sugar almost in there, almost a caramel. Bit of orange, lemon. Actually, no, wow. Okay, so that, that's changed a little bit. Now I'm getting more of that kind of almost a papaya, tropical fruit, mango-esque note. Yeah, definitely more on the fruit side now. Mmm, very nice, very nice. A little pepperiness, a little peppery spice in there. Let's get a taste. Cheers. Wow. That's good. There's my annoying beagle. Just yelping and yawning all the damn time. But, uh... Wow, a lot of bitterness, a lot of dryness at the end. They're very, very big, bold beer. It does remind me of Devil Dancer a little bit because of that Devil Dancer I don't think I've got as many tropical fruits from. But big, peppery, earthy floral notes coming now as it lingers through. Definitely got that floral booze note coming through. Yo! Um, lots of caramel, lots of caramel. A little bit of that confectionery sugar sweetness, almost a faintest touch of vanilla, but that might be coming from that sweet fruit and that sugary malts. Mm. Mm. This is good. And this is a, a few months old, and it, uh, I think this is a few months old, and it's still good. Still bright and bold, so I can only imagine getting this fresh. Yeah, this one's getting a big old 9.5 for me. Smut Labs, this is a good one. I could definitely have this, and I'd like to see this fresh. Wow. This would probably age pretty well, pretty good, too. So, anyway, yeah, I'll give it a 9.5. I think it's a kick half beer. Definitely like it. I like it that it's not, it could lack things, but it just seems to have enough of everything. The dog just doesn't shut up. Mm. Yeah, and if you're a big, uh, if you like a, a little bit less hop, big more malt, let it age. Because these malts are definitely going to come up and get real big and juicy, sweet, and those hops are going to die down to just a nice earthy, earthy backbone to, to build on. So definitely 10.5. You kind of feel it, but it's not really hindering the beer at all. So I'm going to give it a 9.5. This is Smut Lab, Shebang from Smut Labs, the Smutty Nose Small Series. This has been Paul from Pay Brunos in the Woods. 
Cheers. Mm. 